but this is a good example of what I do. This horn, this is exactly how I got it. You can see there are no valves. It's missing all of the curves here, uh, and it's a cheap horn that was made in China. So this is the kind of horn that I like to cut up and, uh, and recycle because it's in all the parts are in really good shape, but it's missing all of the most important stuff. They're called analog telephonographers. I like to make up my own uh, words because when people Google analog telephonographer, they get only me. These are modified trumpets and trombones, French horns, brass instruments uh, that use your uh, built-in speaker on your iPhone, or your iPad, or your mobile device, uh, and they the shape of the horn naturally improves the sound coming from your built-in speaker. They use no batteries, no electricity, no wires. Uh, it's just a pure physics that makes it sound better. Growing up I was always uh, kind of a nerd and so I definitely appreciate the physics and the math and the, uh, the science behind all of this. Uh, before I was a teacher I was a full-time artist uh, and I think that's important for the soul. Uh, so when I started teaching, I, I kind of made a vow to myself that uh, I was going to make sure that the most important thing that the kids learned in my class was whatever makes you happy is what you should do. Uh, and life is not about graduation and a career. Life is about making the most out of the, the time that you have here. So uh, I tell all of my students, whatever makes you happy, that's what you need to do with your life and figure out a way to get paid to do it. Uh, when I was in middle school and uh, high school, people asked me what I wanted to do with my life, and I always said I wanted to be an artist, and they said, no, you have to get a real job. So um, I, I want to go to school every day and tell the kids, artist is a real job. <laughs>